Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back for another One Take Bag Review. And oh my God, I have never been this excited to review a bag before. All right, I think everybody knows by now that my absolute favorite maker, period, is Green Room 136. Love Green Room 136. Love their bags, love their quality, love their durability. Just these bags are insane. I love them. I love them. And I love that you can customize them. And I just, I think they're the best around. So when I got my chance to be among the first to check out their new backpack, Over the Moon, and I've been testing this. Oh my God, you guys, look at it. It's the North Seeker. Welcome, North Seeker, to the lineup. Oh my God, and it is beautiful. Okay, look at this. You don't need to see me, you just need to see this bag, right? Wow, wow. So, I think you can tell already, this is a beautiful bag. And this review is going to be a little gushy um, because I'm a Green Room 136 fanboy. And when they put out an EDC backpack, one size down, one click down from the Rainmaker in the lineup, you know, you know I'm gonna be all about it. Now, there's also the Genesis in the lineup, but this is different, y'all. This is a true EDC backpack, and I've got so much information to share with you, so please stick around to the very end of the video. There's gonna be all kinds of details on the bag, the choices that you're gonna to have to make that are, um, I mean, you're gonna to get to make to get exactly the, the bag that you want from Green Room 136. Okay, so let's dive into this thing. You know what we do on this channel. One take bag reviews, straight through me, telling you all about this bag. We're gonna talk about the exterior of the bag, we're gonna do an interior walkthrough, get into all the nooks and crannies in our overhead cam, and at the end of that walkthrough, I'm gonna give you two things that I love about the bag, two things not so much, and then an overall recommendation, should you get your hands on a North Seeker from Green Room 136? Let's go, everybody. Okay, so exterior, this is Cordura. Um, this bag will be available at launch in Cordura and an X-Pack. Boom! Amazing. I love it. So Cordura and X-Pack, and you're going to be able to buy this bag in a 20 liter or a 25 liter. You'll see that baked into the naming convention of the bag, okay? But a 20 liter and a 25 liter, so a great, I mean, honestly, both of those are great EDC slides sizes. What is this size? This is the 20 liter bag that we are looking at today. So the 25 liter is going to be, you know, a little bit bigger, but I don't think any functional differences except for the size, just like in the medium and large size of the, uh, the Rainmaker, which is this bag right here. Um, so, wow, okay. So let's talk about this thing. It is awesome on the outside. What do you have? Um, we're going to get into pockets, I promise, but you got a little bit of an attachment point here with the logo on it. That's a new one on Green Room 136. Love their logo. We've got the gorilla jumping at you and um, the Green Room 136 and kind of block type. Then you've got one hook and loop patch for your favorite PVC um, or uh, uh, for your favorite patch. I've chosen a PVC Nintendo controller here. I think it really sets off this gray and it's one of my favorite patches I own. Um, then on the side you have uh, Molly attachment points, one, two, three, four, and you have a bottle holder here. I have elected to put in a power bank on that side. It does have their marigold colored interior on all the pockets, which is trademark and Honestly, my favorite interior liner in the entire industry. On this side, I've got my coffee cup, and it fits just fine. This is a 20 ounce um, tumbler from Starbucks that I've had a long time. Um, but 
you know, you're not going to get a giant Nalgene in here or a 64 ounce, 32 ounce um, hydro flask, but you are going to get any regularly sized bottle. Think Pepsi or Coke bottle, that size of water bottle in here, no issue at all. A swell bottle, no issue at all. An umbrella, no issue at all. And you've got these cool attachment points up here that I've attached a power cord to, but you could just put a little loop to stick an umbrella in or a taller item and loop around to these attachment points to keep it in place. So really well thought out, really nice exterior features on the back. Let's talk harness. So number one, this is insane padding back here, super comfortable. And then this really, I mean, we've got to say overbuilt harness. This thing is massive and it's the same one that you get on the Rainmaker and it is super comfortable even when you're carrying the bag for days at a time. So I bought, excuse me, I brought this Rainmaker here on a two week trip around um, the British Isles um, and uh, went to Scotland and Wales and England, all over the UK. And I mean, it was insanely comfortable and you can see same harness system. Really, really comfortable. All right, I think it's time for pockets. Well, let me tell you, you've got a grab handle up here, really thick, and you've got a bag hook on the back as well. And this harness system adjustable at the top, adjustable at the bottom, sternum strap, attachment points, everything you could possibly need in the bag. Um, you do have a little bit of strap dangle off of these straps, but as with any bag, you can roll those up and secure them with a simple elastic band. Um, all right, everybody, it's time to look inside the bag. And so in order to do that for this bag, meet me in camera number two. All right, Wanderers, it's time. We're gonna look inside this bag now from Green Room 136. Again, it's the Rainmaker 20 liter Cordura version, this beautiful gray, very, very well made. The stitching is immaculate. The bag is beautiful. YKK beefy zippers throughout. You get some zipper noise as you do on all Green Room 136 bags, but I love the chunky, beefy nature of these bags. If I ran a bag company, I would be all about this type of material choice. The beefier, the better. It's going to be bulletproof. It's going to last forever. Smooth zipper action. Just beautiful. Okay, what do we have here? We have the entire front panel of the bag opening up. Marigold interior. I mean, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, y'all. I've tossed in a random knickknack. Green Room 136 little tech pouches. For my money, the best, least expensive tech pouches in the industry. Love them, they come in all shapes and sizes. Um, yeah, I love these pouches. But a really big space here that you can toss, I mean, frankly, tons of stuff in. So really useful front pocket on this bag, and it goes the entire front panel. What about this front panel here? So you can see front pocket, first section, second section on this bag. This one zips down, not full clamshell, but about half zip, okay? Then when we fold it over, we see, oh, we see heaven. This is, for me, heaven. We see a Green Room 136 admin pocket, which are, I gotta say, incredible. So what do I have in here? Of course, I've got my AirPods. I've got SD cards in there. I've got my flashlight, my Sharpie and pen. I've got a pair of blue light blocking glasses. And you might notice I'm not taking this stuff out because y'all, I'm not gonna stop using this bag right now. Not Even though I've got other things to test. I am not stopping using this bag anytime soon. I'm in love. All right, so good admin pocket. And then down inside, you can see the drop pocket runs all the way to the bottom. And then over here, you can see a really useful front pocket. So inside here, admin pocket, interior pocket, and big giant drop pocket space. I mean, insanely useful. You could toss random knickknacks in here. You could do really whatever you wanted to with this space. And it's all in this, 
I call it Marigold, Sunny Gold, Interior, Sunny D, Your Mom is so cool, etc. All right, then up top here, let's open up the full clamshell on the main compartment. Wow. Wow. I mean, look at it. It's just beautiful. Two pockets on the front instead of one. I've got some knickknacks in there. I haven't even used this pocket right now because I'm using my knickknacks. Tossed another random knickknack in here with more cords that I use when I'm out and about. I've got my gimbal in here. You could easily toss. I think they've got a larger kind of kit pouch here for cameras. You could toss that in here. You could toss a couple of packing cubes in here. No problem. This is the 20 liter, remember? And they've got the 25 liter. Then they have a sleeve here for tech. I've dropped in my 11 inch iPad Pro. So this is an iPad Pro 11 with the Magic Keyboard on. You can see that a 12 would fit likely no problem here or a very small laptop would fit no problem here. Okay, what am I doing? Like I said, I'm not unpacking this thing. Then you've got two slip pockets up here, one for a plug and one for cords the way I'm using it, but you could use for really anything you want. That's the interior of this bag and it is super roomy and it is super, super nice. All right, now there's another zipper. Let's talk about this thing. What is this zipper? When I first got the bag and I was first testing, I was like, oh, external laptop compartment. Nope. This is just a quick access to the main compartment. So, I'll show you here. So this is a quick access pocket to the main compartment. And we have one more pocket to look at before we're done. It's this passport pocket on the back. And I've turned it into my tuna tin pocket. So, just like to, woo, woo, a little green room love, pull out the tuna tin. Oh, okay. Meet me back at camera number one, everybody. Okay, y'all. Um, this bag is gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed checking out the all the features of the beautiful North Seeker from Green Room 136. All right, it's time. Two things we love about the bag two things not so much, and an overall recommendation. Should you buy the Green Room 136 North Seeker? So, first off, first off, two things that I love about the bag. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna gush for a second. Some of this is gonna just overlap with some of the things I love about the Rainmaker, because they are very different bags in a lot of ways, but in some ways they're similar. The first thing that I love about the bag is insane overbuilt last forever quality. For the price, and we'll talk price here in a little bit, but for the price, I don't believe you can buy a better bag right now anywhere in the world than you can from Green Room 136, period. I know that's a big statement. There may be better built bags in the world. So, you know, maybe, an ever good Civic panel loader and X-Pack. All right. But that's gonna cost you $350 for the new olive green capsule collection. I mean, it's a gorgeous bag, but y'all, $350. This bag is gonna cost you 150. That's right. So even less than that, really, 130, 140 when you're talking about the Cordura versions, 130 bucks. I mean, come on, 150 for X Pack, 160 for the large X Pack with the beautiful interior. I, I don't think it's a close competition. I, I want to be fair to these other bag companies, but Green Room 136 is killing it, and they could be charging more for these handmade beauties, and they're not. So, that all being said, wow, two things that I love about the bag. Number one, quality. Off the charts, beefy, chunky, lovely, beautiful quality. Quality on the interior liner, quality on the bag, quality on the handles, 
quality on the harness, quality on the straps, quality everywhere. I, this bag is a joy to carry. Like all Green Room 136 bags, you pay a weight tax. What do I mean by that? I mean, for the quality, you get some extra weight with this bag, extra weight. So it is gonna be a little bit heavier, but you can buy the X-Pack that's gonna be lighter than the Cordura. God, the, the straps are so comfortable. Like, you're not gonna mind. The quality is there. You feel it. You feel all the decisions they made. You feel all the work they poured into it. It's just great. It's just great. All right, so quality is the first thing that I love. The second thing that I love about this bag is simplicity. So the organization all makes sense. They didn't put tons of extra subdivisions in this pocket up here. It's just a useful pocket for EDC. On the front pocket here, one nice pocket and a cool admin panel. Um, everything you would need, nothing you wouldn't. Main pocket. Full clamshell, because you might need a full clamshell. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Simplicity, quality, pocket, the organizations, the organization structure is insanely well thought out in this bag, and I've been wearing it for a couple of weeks now. I know, I know, I'm a lucky dude. But I've been wearing it for a couple of weeks now, and it is so fun to wear. And it is so fun to use. And I used it for work and I used it for a little bit of light travel. Um, just, it feels great. The bag is a joy to toss in and out of the car. The, grab, the bag is a joy to grab. The bag is just, it's just, oh, it's just perfect. I love it. But I'm going to tell you, there are some things that I think could be better about the bag. I always give you two. I'm going to give you two today. The first one is, I never found myself using the quick access pocket um, because the quick access pocket was really not that much more quick than using these zippers. So what what is the speed difference between using these zippers and this? I, I don't know. So the quick access pocket, I don't know. Didn't need it. Didn't need it. Um, didn't hate it but I, I think I used it twice in two weeks. Um, so quick access pocket, I don't know. Could it have been a real pocket instead? A little slip pocket? Um, something just about the size for sunglasses? Maybe, maybe. Um, but I didn't find myself using it a ton. Um, so that's thing number one, the quick access into the main pocket. Um, a little superfluous for me. You may love it. It is an easy way to reach down because the tech pocket is right there and slip into whatever the tech pocket is there. But again, I just use these bigger zippers because they're easier to grab. Thing number two. Well, one of my favorite things about Green Room 136 bags is the corduroy lined laptop sleeves. That is missing on this bag. But I'm kind of cheating with thing number two because the next thing that I wanted to show you is this. This is the new book pouch from Green Room 136. So what do we have now? We've got, we've got kind of an Indiana Jones backpack going on here. We've got a kind of an Indiana Jones name going on too, the North Seeker, right? So this bag is great for weekend trips. This bag is great. You can toss some packing cubes in there. This bag is great for beating around town, but also, this bag is great for work because I can toss my laptop pouch into this bag and go. So easy, easy to convert with Green Room 136's new book pouch. Check this out, it's got Velcro on the back with silencers for bags that don't have hook and loop fields, but you can use this and toss it into bags that do have hook and loop fields <clears throat> from Green Room or frankly from other companies because <clears throat> this is a Green Room 136 laptop sleeve and that is my favorite laptop sleeve on the market. Why? Because it's got corduroy. Nobody else is doing corduroy and the rest of the industry Y'all are missing out. This is eggplant corduroy. Oh, 
eggplant corduroy. So this is the 13 inch version. They make it in a 15 and a 17, I believe as well. Maybe a 14 and a 16 and an 18, but you'll see it on Green Room's site. It is, I mean, look at it. I don't even have to tell you, it's gorgeous. It's got a front pocket here for cord or I tossed my Kindle in there, but you could toss your laptop cord in there. It's the perfect laptop pouch. I, I love it. I've always loved their back top, their laptop pouches in their bags. This is like, you take that, toss it in, and you're good to go. Is that cheating? Is that cheating saying that something I wish was in the bag, you could add very easily to the bag and in a super cool way? And why did I say it's Indiana Jones? Because I've got Professor Indiana Jones going to work at the university. And then I've got North Seeker Indiana Jones tossing my adventure gear in the bag and heading out. Y'all, I... I'm blown away. All right, this is a true story. About two months ago, I sent a note to Green Room 136 and I said, guys, I have an idea. What if you had a bag that was like the Rainmaker without the middle compartment? So tech compartment and front compartment but no middle compartment. It would be a perfect EDC bag. It would be less bulky. I sent them that note on Instagram. You know what they sent me back? They sent me back a picture of this bag and it said, we're on it. We're already working on it. So unfortunately for me, I didn't invent this bag and it wasn't my idea. Even though I like to think it was, it wasn't my idea. It was their idea. They already had it in production. It's kind of like that time I invented ankle weights, but then I found out they already existed. Okay, that's another story for another day. All right. Do I recommend this bag? I told you the pricing. I told you it's going to run you from 130 to 160. When you look at Green Room's site, you're going to freak out. You're going to freak the hell out. You're going to be like, oh my God, $700? It's not $700, y'all. It's not. You just got to you just got to <laughs> do the uh, currency conversion calculation from Malaysian dollars into U.S. dollars. I promise you, it'll be okay. All right? So, like 130 bucks, you get one of the best built backpacks in the industry. Boom. You pay for shipping, worth it. Toss in some random knickknacks. I promise, you'll love them. Toss in some, if you can, handle grabs, because this is my favorite handle grab in the, again, entire industry. So, Get yourself some handle holders. Get yourself some random knickknack pouches. I right. Get yourself a book pouch. Get all the stuff. You're never going to regret a Green Room 136 purchase. You're not. You may move on over time and try out new bags because that's what we do. But you're never going to be sad you bought this bag. You're going to love it. It is going to be high rotation. I've got other bags I'm supposed to be testing right now but I'm not moving on because I'm smitten. I'm in love. This bag is so pretty. It's so useful. It's so beautiful. It's so everything that I want in a bag. So should you buy it? Hell yes, you should buy it. Now, you should know these are gonna be made to order. What does that mean? It means from the time in which you click buy to the time in which your bag arrives is not gonna be like Amazon, okay? Imagine one of those Indiana Jones planes that is flying from Malaysia to your house with those little red dots and you finally goes in a loop and you know crosses the map, it's gonna take three or four weeks or so for your bag to arrive. Don't panic, okay? You're paying for quality. You're paying for craftsmanship and you're paying for something that not every Joe is gonna have on your street. It's, it's just gorgeous. Check out the colors available at launch and then down the road, this may even be added to the wildcard custom bag maker. I will own at least three of these bags, period. I'm saying it right now. I will own at least three of these bags. Some people collect GORUCK bags. I collect green room bags. 
not ashamed of it. Love them. It's my favorite maker. I'm going to continue to support them. I'm going to continue purchasing as many bags as they can produce. And I'm going to have at least three versions of this bag. I'm going to have the smaller size, the larger size, one in X-Pack, and one wild card whenever they come out. So, everybody, I love this bag. I, I really couldn't even come up with two things I don't like about this bag. Period. It, it is a work of art. I think it's the best backpack they've ever made, and I think you need to buy it. So there you go. That's my recommendation. Buy the bag. It's awesome. I could go on forever. I'm going to have to cut it short. I am delighted to have been given the chance to test this bag. Thank you to the team at Green Room 136. Thank you to all of you for continuing to support the channel. If you liked this review, please check out my Green Room 136 playlist where you can check out just about every bag this incredible Malaysian maker has ever made. All right, everybody, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed getting a chance to see the beautiful North Seeker from Green Room 136. Oh man. It is gorgeous. Thanks, everybody. We will see you next time. Bye for now.